Cornerstone Church of God had its beginnings in the small community of Oregonia, Ohio. In 1939, the Morgan Brandenburg family moved to the community of Oregonia. Morgan's wife, Addie, started having prayer meetings in their home. They were referred to as cottage prayer meetings. That would be the spark that would start the move of God in the little community of Oregonia. Many times, Sister Addie Brandenburg would preach the Word of God and people would be converted to Christ. One of those early prayer meeting attendees was a little lady named Goldie Wilkerson. Goldie was beloved by all and in her later years was known by everyone as Grandma Goldie. Goldie and Addie began to fast and pray for a greater move of God in their community. They asked God to send a preacher so that they could start a new church. During this time, Grandma Goldie kept her eye on the building next to her home. It was a former Mennonite church that had been abandoned and converted into a blacksmith shop by William McCain. Goldie asked Mr. McCain if he would sell the building to her for a church, and on July 20th, 1940, Grandma Goldie purchased the old blacksmith shop for the sum of $1. The original name of the church was the Community Church of Borgonia. The church prospered under the lay leadership of Goldie and Addie, and on August 24, 1941, the little community church was chartered into the Church of God. There were 19 charter members of that original church. The first pastor appointed over the fledging congregation was Reverend Newton Kreider. Newton Kreider would pastor the Argonia Church of God from 1941 until 1944. His daughter, Elena McCurry, is still a member of the Cornerstone Church today. Brother Kreider was noted for being a humble man who loved God and preaching the word. In 1944, Morgan and Addie Brandenburg moved from Oregonia, leaving the lay leadership of the church in the capable hands of Goldie Wilkerson. Grandma Goldie Wilkerson was the key element that kept the church going through good times and bad. We are reaping the benefits today of her labor of love and dedication to God. In 1944, Newton Kreider left the work at Oregonia to pastor another church, and the little church went through a series of pastor changes. From 1944 until 1948, there were six different pastors who preached in the pulpit of the new church. They were Reverend James Rader, Reverend Orville Morgan, Reverend Hayes, Reverend Pratt, Reverend Spencer, and Reverend Hornsby. In 1948, Newton Kreider would return to Oregonia and resume the same pastorate, and in that year, the church experienced a great revival. Newton Kreider's ministry was greatly blessed as people traveled great distances to the little community of Oregonia to attend the church services and worship God. I came to Oregonia, Ohio after I was married. I didn't know a thing about Pentecostal or speaking in tongues. I was invited to a revival by Sister Goldie Wilkerson. She was a blessed child of God who had fasted and prayed for a church in Argonia. The Lord had laid it on her heart. And, and um, the little church then, before it became a church, was a blacksmith shop. Mm -hmm. Before that, it was a Mennonite church. And. Um, I was saved during that revival with Sister Gertrude Patrick. It lasted for over six weeks. I received a Holy Ghost also during that revival. I never heard of, of Pentecostal. I never heard of Holy Ghost or speaking in tongues. When my mother heard that I had gotten saved and was speaking in tongues, she thought it was a she was told it was a cult. <laughs> um, there were over 60 people saved during that revival with Sister Patrick. And one of the highlights of that revival was when she was healed of TB. I, have, I brought my children up in the Argonia Church of God and 
Some of them are serving the Lord today. In 1952, Newton Kreider again resigned his position and moved to another work of the Lord, and Reverend Vincent Turner became the new pastor. From 1952 until 1976, the Oregonia Church of God would experience many more pastor changes. In 1953, Henry Hopkins became the new pastor and would remain the pastor until 1959. In 1959, Reverend Roy Barnett assumed the pastorate of the church, and the brick front was added onto the old building to give it a more modern look. In 1963, Reverend Bruce Powell became the next pastor of the church. The church continued to prosper, and in 1967, welcomed the Reverend Richard Aker as the newest pastor. Under Brother Aker's leadership, a new parsonage was built for the sum of $13,900. Unfortunately, that same year, a devastating flood hit the community of Oregonia and flooded both the church and the new parsonage. In 1968, the Reverend Frank Short took over as pastor of the church. Brother Short was noted for his beautiful singing voice and his great musical talents. In 1970, Marvin Hawker brought his family to Oregonia and became the next pastor of the church. Brother Hawker was beloved, and during his tenure, the church experienced tremendous growth. Pastor Hawker's leadership was instrumental in leading the church through an intensive remodeling program. Brother Hawker would remain the pastor until 1975. In 1975, Jack Sally became the newest pastor. He was also the youngest pastor to ever assume the pastorate in our church's history. Then, in 1976, the Reverend Orville Robinson would come to the Oregonia Church of God. The church would prosper greatly under his leadership. During his early tenure from 1976 until 1996, many changes would take place. A large youth center and new kitchen were added onto the existing building. The Sunday school program, youth program, and Wednesday night family training hour programs prospered. Many souls were saved during Brother Robinson's ministry as well. Around 1990, the church council and members began discussing possible expansion of the facilities to accommodate the growth of the congregation. Many efforts were made to purchase property adjoining the existing church land, but the efforts were futile. Finally, the council members began to look for land near the community of Oregonia in order to relocate the church. Again, those efforts were rebuffed. In 1995, Kathleen Brewer, who was a lifelong member of the church, as well as our senior adult minister, entered into discussion concerning property in Lebanon off of Columbus Avenue. The congregation voted to approve the purchase of this land, and these approximate eight acres would become the site of our new church facility. Ted Speaks, a member of the church, was selected to build the new building and in July of 1996, the congregation of the Argonia Church of God moved into a brand new facility. There are approximately 80 people at that first service. The church name was officially changed to Cornerstone Church of God, and it began to grow rapidly. Over the next eight years, the congregation would continue to prosper and grow under the very capable leadership of Pastor Robinson. The membership roles would swell to approximately 500. In 2002, the church council, trustees, and members began to discuss on how to expand the existing facility. And in 2003, ground was broken on a new sanctuary that would seat over 1,200 worshipers. Pastor Orville and Linda Robinson continued to serve this congregation until retiring in 2008 after spending an unprecedented 31 years at Cornerstone. That same year, Scott Skeens assumed the pastorate of the church and continued to carry the torch through some difficult years. Even though the economy had collapsed during his tenure, God was faithful and Pastor Skeens was able to see God's work continue. Pastor Skeens resigned in 2010, and our current pastors, Rick and Carolyn Smith, came on board. We are believing for a great harvest of souls and looking forward to our future.